Hello, in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to solve this type of uh, problem that involving convert the trigonometric in an addition form to a single form or a single trigonometric function. So, of, of course, that uh, they want to show that this one you were getting this right. So, very simple. You see, from plus here, you convert become something cos, become something minus a number, minus a number, right? So, means this one is involving the formula, right? Involving using the formula of letting, uh, you letting, you let the cos 2 theta plus with square root of 3 sine 2 theta to be equals to, this is a number that you want to find, right? R and cos A minus B, right? A minus B, which the 2 theta minus with, uh, plus, uh, you can write it as uh, minus with alpha, right? Uh, minus with alpha. So it means that you want to prove that uh, this, you were getting this, right? So you just write here to be R cos 2 theta minus alpha, right? So, so you are uh, letting this to be this one. So you want to show that you were getting this. So you apply the compound angle formula, right? The compound angle formula here will be cos uh, 2 theta and cos alpha. And turn out, if this is a formula for cos A minus B, right? Uh, so cos A minus B is uh, cos A, cos B. If there's a negative here, we positive. Uh, you can refer to the formula sheet for trigonometric function. So which, if you have negative here, here will be positive. And if you have positive here, it will be negative. So that's why we choose to be negative alpha because after we uh, apply the formula for cos A minus B, you are getting the positive here. Right? Uh, let's see what I mean. Cos A, uh, this is your A, this is your B, right? So cos A cos B plus with sine A sine B, right? Cos A cos B plus with sine A sine B. There is a plus sign here, all right? This is why we can match the sign here, okay? Not matching, right? So we match the sign that is already given there. So if you, you shouldn't cho choose plus because when you choose plus, here will end up to be negative, which you cannot directly compare. So the alpha will not produce an acute angle. Okay, it doesn't matter, you just understand uh, the purpose here is to, uh, to choosing the right function. So R, so I multiply inside here, I group the R cos alpha, R cos alpha and cos 2 theta, okay, cos 2 theta, uh, R sine alpha plus weight, R sine alpha, sine 2 theta. Alright, so this is why we will end up in this form so that we can compare, uh, directly compare the coefficient both sides. So as you see that the coefficient for cos 2 theta is 1, right? It's 1. So I can say that uh, R cos alpha is 1, right? Is one, so and the coefficient for sine two theta is r sine alpha, and the coefficient for sine two theta is square root of three. So it happened to be e equation, so it must be r sine alpha must be the same as square root of three, right? So then we have uh, this two equation here. So after we got that equation, we want to find the R. So R, there is a formula. So you can view back the video that is starting to explain about the concept of uh, how to write the addition form or subtraction form of a two trigonometric function into a single trigonometric function. So now, okay, R is equal to square root. The formula is 1 to the power of 2 plus with square root of 3 to the power of 2. All right, this is the formula. The A square plus with the B square. So you have square root of 4, which gives you 2. Right, uh, then you have 2 as your R. 
So again, you want to find alpha. Okay, you have to find the R, you have to find the alpha. So to find the alpha, you were using the equation 2 divided by equation 1. Right? So the equation that have sine divided by cos, you will get a tangent, right? So you will have R sine alpha divided by R cos alpha to be square root of 3 divided by 1. Then of course, uh, the R will eliminate. So sine and cos, sine divided by cos, you have tangent alpha equals to square root of 3. Uh, so this is an acute angle. Alpha is an acute angle. So in first quadrant, positive. So the arc tangent of square root of 3, the alpha should be uh, 60. 60 is pi over 3. Right? Uh, 60 is pi over 3. Can you see that? Alpha is pi over 3 and your r is 2. You have proven, you have shown that this is true. So then you state back, therefore, the cos 2 theta plus with square root of 3 sine 2 theta is 2 cos 2 theta minus pi over 3 shown right uh, so the technique here you must choose a suitable function so as you see they already asked you to show this function to be this way so you just write the r and the cos and this one to be a minus b which is 2 theta minus alpha Okay, now, uh, just follow, then you can prove that uh, this is come from the compound angle formula, alright? So, okay, let's continue with the next question, which, uh, alright, I'm going to erase this. Okay, so now, we have known that Cos 2 theta plus square root 3 is 2 cos 2 theta minus pi over 3. I've already shown. And the question later asks you to solve cos 2 theta plus with square root of 3. Sine 2 theta equals to square root of 3. Ah, this is what the question want you to solve. Ah, they want to solve. And if you want to solve this type of equation, you have two methods. One is you can use T substitution or you can using the concept uh, for writing this two trigo in the single trigonometric function. So, and you already learned, you already proved that this function, uh, this two trigonometric function to be this function. So then I can say that this one I can replace with two cos two theta minus pi over three equals to square root of three, right? Uh, because this is the same as this. So of course, since this one is the same as this, this one also the same as square root of three uh, by directly comparison. So we have cos uh, two theta minus pi over three equals to square root of three over two. Uh, and the question want you to solve the uh, theta is between 0 and 2 pi, right? Uh, the theta is between 0 and 2 pi. So, before you solve this equation, uh, this equation, which is already linear, you have to consider the range of the value of the angle in this function, which I have discussed in the previous video. So now, you have, uh, I'm writing here, Alright, you know that theta is between 0 and 2 pi in uh, radian form. Alright, I'm going to answer this question now in radian form. So, if I have 2 theta, I follow the range. I modify based on the range. If I have 2 theta, I multiply with 2 theta. Then I have 4 pi and 0, right? You multiply every 2. And you minus with pi over 3. Uh, 2 theta minus with pi over 3. So here you have negative pi over 3. And this you have uh, 4 minus 1 over 3. It's 11 over 3, right? Uh, 4 over 3. 4 over 3. Uh, sorry, minus with... Uh, sorry, 4 minus 1 over 3. 4 minus 1 over 3 pi. So you will have 11 pi over 3. Okay. So it means that the range of value that 2 theta minus pi over 3 can accept maximum is 11 pi over 3 and minimum is negative pi over 3. 
So, okay, this is the first step. You have getting the uh, this uh, equation. So now you modify the range. And the next step will be, you're going to draw out which quadrant does cos positive, happen to be positive. Because cos of an angle is a positive number. So then you know that uh, you have memorized that add sugar to coffee, right? So only in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant, the cos is positive. Uh, it's positive. So you know that cos 30 is square root of 302, right? Uh, and cos 60 is 102. You have memorized all the special angle. So it means that cos 30 is square root of 302. So you know that this one has 302. 30 is equivalent to uh, pi over 6, right? Uh, pi over 6. So you know that cos 30 is square root of 302. So now you know that this one is to be uh, pi over 6. Uh, in radian form, pi over 6, right? So pi over 6 and pi over 6. So then you're going to list out all the possible solution for 2 theta minus pi over 3. Alright? By looking at this diagram and the range of value that can be accepted. So as you see that pi over 6 is in the fourth quadrant. This is in the first quadrant, right? So by right, you should accept negative pi over 6 as a solution because negative pi over 6 is in the range, right? Negative pi over 6 is in the range. You're going in the clockwise direction, your clockwise direction. So you accept negative pi over 6 because this is smaller than, uh, sorry, this is in the range, right? Negative pi over 6. So then you accept the pi over 6 also. Uh, usually students will forget about this one because the range can accept minimum. Okay, of negative pi over 3. So negative pi over 6 is in the range. So now we go for the first one, pi over 6. Right, from this we keep adding 360. Uh, we keep adding 360. Means we take the negative uh, 1 over 6, negative 1 over 6 plus with 2. Right, plus with 2 means we are plus with 2. We have 11 pi over 6. Uh, 11 pi over 6. Right. So 11 pi over 6 is uh, 11 times with 30 divided by 6 is in the fourth quadrant. Means that you accept negative pi over 6, you accept pi over 6, and don't forget if you go in the counterclockwise, you have reached here. So it means you take the 360 dual pi minus with pi over 6, you're still getting 11 pi over 6. Then now you're adding. 2 pi for the second number, you're adding 2 pi, uh, you're adding 2 pi. So in calculator, you just key in 1 over 6 plus 2, right? 1 over 6 plus 2. Then you have 13 over 6, right? 13 pi over 6. Uh, so let's see which one is already exceed the value, right? 11 pi over 6 is still in the range because 11 over 3 is... Uh, 3.67 pi, alright, in your mind. So, 11 over 6, of course, will be smaller than uh, this, so in the range. So, but for this, okay, let's see, let's see, 13 over 6, 2.16, yes, it's still in the range, it's still in the range. So, we accept the value here. Okay, now go for, okay, after you're adding 2 pi, you reach this, you're getting 2 pi. Now, you take the third value, you're adding 2 pi, uh, you're adding 2 pi. So you're adding 2 pi again. See what's the value that you get. So you take 11 over 6 uh, plus with 2, right? Plus with 2, 360. So you have 23 over 6 pi. 23 pi over 6. Okay, 23 over 6 is already 3.83 pi, which is already exceed the value of the maximum uh, value in the for the angle, which is 11 over 3. So this one should not be accepted as your uh, solution. So now you have 2 theta negative pi over 3. I rewrite. is to be negative pi over 6. Pi over 6 
and 11 pi over 6 and 13 pi over 6 right so now everything you go and add up with uh add up with pi over 3 okay you have you just taking negative 1 over 6 negative 1 over 6 plus with 1 over 3 right uh, plus with 1 over 3 you have pi over 6 uh, you have pi over 6 and pi over 6 plus with 1 over 3 means 1 over 6 plus with 1 over 3 with your calculator 1 over 6 plus with 1 over 3 you have pi over 2 uh, 11 over 6 plus 1 over 3 11 over 6 plus with 1 over 3 you have 13 pi over 6 and 13 over 6 plus 1 over 3 13 over 6 plus with 1 over uh, 1 over 3 you have 5 pi over 2 right uh, and later everything you divide by 2 to get the solution for this equation so you have pi divided by 6 you have 12 and this one you have pi over 4 13 pi over with uh, 12 6 times 2 divide so n uh, this is a set of solution eh? so it's 5 pi over with 4 right 5 pi over with 4 so which is all in the in the range right which is all this value is in the range uh, for theta in between 0 and 2 pi right uh, so only this four value is satisfied this uh, this equation all right uh, in the in, in this range these four values in this range that satisfy this equation so okay this is an extra knowledge for you you can always check your answer right you can always check your answer after you're getting your answer you can check okay this is a uh, extra extra knowledge for you if you have time you can check the answer so this is the equation, right? This is the equation. This is the roots for this equation. Uh, this is the uh, solution for this equation. So let's see. If you're putting the pi over 12 into the, the, the left-hand side, you are getting square root of 3. So if you won't get square root of 3, means you are wrong. Okay, you are wrong. You're solving somewhere you are doing wrong. So, okay, let's move on to uh, using this calculator that you already bought. It's a very good calculator. So. Okay, choosing. I'm going to clear all the memory. Uh, so now you make sure that you convert to radian mode, right? Radian mode. So how was it? You uh, shift, shift menu, then you pressing the angle you need. Uh, you pressing two. Then you have degree radian and gradient. So you choose the radian mode. Okay. Then you have uh, R on top of the screen here. So then you key in only for the left hand side. Uh, you only key in for the left hand side, which you key in as cos 2 alpha x. I represent the theta with x and plus with uh, and plus with square root of 3. Uh, sorry, square root of 3. Uh, okay. Sine 2 alpha x. Uh, so now you have cos 2 theta plus with square root of 2 sine 2 x. So let's calculate the value. Pressing the button, calculate the value. For example, pi over 12. Uh, then you, you key in uh, pi. Uh, where is pi? So uh, shift pi. Uh, shift. Let's see this one. You have pi over with over with 12. Uh, if, you, if this is the answer, if this is your answer, you should get square root of 3. So let's pressing equal and check. Uh, 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.2617. Okay, you key in, uh, you calculate the value of uh, the first one, right? The pi over 12. So you have. Uh, shift pi over with 12 right 
So you're pressing equal and you're pressing equal again, uh, you will get square root of 3. Right? Can you see that? You will get square root of uh, square root of 3. So let, let's check. Is this one correct also? So you can uh, pressing calculate, right? Then you key in uh, shift pi over 4. Then you're pressing equal. Uh, then you're pressing equal again. Then you have square root of 3. Yes, this is also true. So let's look at this. Uh, calculate. Uh, you're pressing calculate. Then you key in 13 pi over 12. Right, 13 pi over 12. 13 uh, shift pi over with 12. Right, 13 pi over 12, which equal to square root of 3 also. Okay, so calculate for the last one. So calculate for 5. Uh, uh, shift pi over 12, uh, sorry, over 4, right, over 4, so you're pressing equal, and equal again, and you have square root 3, right, so it means that this 4 is the solution for this uh, equation here, alright, so that's all for this video.